friends, happy Ash Wednesday. I'm Pastor Meredith Keasley at Abiding Presence Lutheran Church in Burke, Virginia, and I am so excited tonight to welcome you to our children's Ash Wednesday service at home. We are all home right now celebrating Ash Wednesday safely, and if you've had the chance to pick up one of these little Ash Wednesday bags from the church, it may be in your pizza box if you picked that up. I want you to go ahead and find it and maybe see if there's a grown up around who can help you find this baggie and just take a little drop of this oil and put it in with the ashes. If you didn't get a chance to get a bag, no problem. Maybe a grown up can help you get a small bowl with just a drop of olive oil in it or you can just use your finger. What we're gonna do tonight is trace the sign of the cross on our foreheads or on our hands to remind us of God's love for us. During our service tonight, you are gonna hear a lot about Lent. Lent is the season that begins today. Ash Wednesday gets us started on our Lenten journeys, which is a time for us to return to God and get ready for Easter. And to start our worship off tonight, I'm gonna to invite our friends on the puppet team to offer a skit to teach us all a little bit about what Ash Wednesday and Lent are all about. Hello, welcome to Jeopardy! Ash Wednesday edition. Today, we have a few very talented teams competing for a brand new Bibles. Let's meet them. First, we have the Smart Squad. Hey guys, we're super smart. And we are definitely going to know all the answers on our team. We have me, Riley, Peep the Sheep, Jeffrey, and Grandpa. Back in my day, we didn't even have Jeopardy. We're so smart, we don't even have to try. Next, we have the Bro Squad. Why don't you introduce yourselves? Hi, we're the Bros, and we're a squad. We're made up of Noah, Dragon Boy, and myself, Stanley. That's right. We're Bros, and we are ready. I really need this new Bible, because I accidentally baptized mine. <laughs> I thought it was a baby. All right, folks, you know how this works. We'll be asking some questions, and whoever gets the question correct will receive the points. Our categories today are who, what, and why. The right time and the short length of the stick. All right, Smart Squad, you can pick the first question. Can we do the right time for 100? Please. All right. Our first question is, how many days in the season of Lent? Oh, I know. There are 40 days in Lent, not counting Sundays. That is exactly right. The Bro Squad gets 100 points. Now, Bros, you can pick our next question. Let's do who, what, why for 100. All right. What is Ash Wednesday? I know, I know, I know. Ash Wednesday is the first day of Lent. There is a service and you get ashes put on your forehead. 100 points to the Smart Squad. You can pick our next question. Let's do short Lent to the stick for 100. Are the ashes hot on Ash Wednesday? I know. No, they are cold or room temperature. Perfect. Now, Bruce Squad has 200 points. Next. Let's do the right time for 200 points. What season of the year is Lent in? Us, us, winter and spring. Amazing. Now, I want to do who, what, why for 200. Why do we have Ash Wednesday? God made us out of the earth and we are reminded of that on Ash Wednesday because we get the earth put on our forehead. Amazing, that's another 200 points to you. All right, everybody, this is the last question. Whichever team gets this, wins! Wait, short Lent of the stick for 200 points. What is Lent leading up to? Um, hmm, I think 
Christmas, maybe? Ooh, I'm sorry, but that is not correct. Bro Squad, if you get this right, you can win... Easter! 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 That's correct. Amazing job, both teams. And now I have some good news, even though the Bro Squad won. God's word is for everyone. That means everyone gets a Bible. Whenever we gather for worship, we start by calling on God, by speaking God's name. We say, we gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We make the sign of of the cross like this. Let's call on God and make the sign of the cross together. We gather, we gather in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our scripture lesson for today comes from the book of Joel. Yet even now, says the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning. Rent your hearts and not your clothing. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love, and relents from punishing. The word of the Lord. In our reading from the Bible, we heard the call to return to the Lord our God, and on Ash Wednesday and during this whole season of Lent, this is what we do. Tonight, we're going to confess our sins. Those are all of the things that we do that get in the way of our relationship with God and with one another. And we're going to turn away from all of those things so that we can turn toward God. And we're gonna use our whole bodies to help us do that. So stand up with me and here we go. The world is filled with voices that are calling us to be mean. So I ask you tonight, as we begin Lent, do you turn your back on these voices and return to the Lord your God? If so, you're gonna turn around and say, I do. I do. Do you turn your back on selfishness and greed, on looking out for only you and those who you love and only thinking about things that you want and you need? If so, turn around and say, I do. I do. Do you turn your back on using violence on hitting and hurting and name calling? If so, turn around and say, I do. I do. Do you turn your back on anything and everything that keeps you from being able to love God and love your neighbor? If so, turn around and say, I do. I do. Let's pray together. Gracious God, we thank you that you keep showing up in our lives to help us turn towards you. And now as we begin Lent, we hear that you have forgiven all of our sins, that our, your love for us is so great that we don't ever have to worry about being separated from you. Amen.
friends, today I want to talk to you about something called sin. S-I-N, sin. Now, sin is the thing that we do that we're not supposed to do. Sin is when we don't listen to God. It's when we don't share with others, when we say mean things about other people or about ourselves. It's when we t um, are jealous of what other people have, when we take what other people have. Sin is when we do what God tells us we are not supposed to do. So I want you to raise your hand if you have done something you weren't supposed to do before. I will raise two hands. I have definitely done things I am not supposed to do. All of us have. It's what is part of what makes us human. And sin is kind of hard to get rid of, but we, we kind of want to get rid of sin because we don't want to do what God tells us we're not supposed to do. So can you help me try and get rid of this sin here? Maybe we can crinkle it up. Maybe that'll work. Crank it all up really good like a snowball. All right, now let's see if that got rid of the sin. Not quite, there's there's still sin on here. Okay, maybe we can tear it, we can rip it. Oh, you can still kind of see it, there's the S and the N is ripped up, but there's, there's still sin on here. Maybe I can, there's some water on this table. Maybe I'll try and get some water on it. That'll get rid of it, sort of wash it off. Oh, it made it dirty and the ink is running a little bit, but there's still sin on this. Friends, what, oh, I have an idea. What about fire? Do you think maybe fire will get rid of the sin? Friends, you can see that our paper with the sin on it burned all up. There's not paper any in here anymore, but there is ash. There's ashes left. Friends, on our own, we can't completely get rid of sin. That's why on Ash Wednesday, we get ash put on our forehead to remind us that we are not perfect, that sometimes we mess up. But friends, I have good news. God doesn't let us stay with ashes on our forehead. God doesn't let the sin just stay in ashes. God completely gets rid of the sin, completely gets rid of it. Friends, on Easter, when Jesus raises from the grave, when Jesus is resurrected, we don't have ash on our foreheads anymore. We just get to celebrate because we know that Jesus is, is risen and Jesus washes away all of our sin. Jesus washes away every mess up we've ever had. Let's pray. God, thank you so much for being a good and gracious God. Thank you for helping us to clean off the ashes of life. Thank you for washing away all of our sin, for making us clean. We pray that we would love you and serve you every day. Amen. Okay, friends, now it's time to get your ashes or your little bowl of olive oil or maybe just your finger ready because we're going to make the sign of the cross on our forehead or on our hand to remind us of how much God loves us. These ashes, like Miss Michelle was just talking about, are a little bit like dust. And you know what? We're a little bit like dust too. God put God's breath in us to make us the wonderful people who we are. And without God's breath, well, we're really just kind of dusty. So we take these ashes tonight and we put them on our foreheads to remember that when we were baptized, God named us and claimed us and told us that we are loved forever and ever and ever and even after we have died, that we will still be loved by God. So you can take your ashes out there. They're not hot. Don't worry. They're just room temperature like the air. And you can put them on yourself or maybe you can have a grown-up help you put them on. 
And this is what you're going to do. You're gonna take that ash or that oil on your finger and make the cross right on your forehead and say, God loves you no matter what. Can you do that with me? Here we go. God loves me no matter what. And maybe you can take it over to someone else in your house. And if you're doing it with them, you can say, God loves you no matter what. And together, we're going to remember that no matter what happens in life or in death, God loves us. So you can wear this ash cross on your forehead the rest of the night if you'd like. You may want to pause the service now to go wash off your finger. Um, and you can keep remembering that you are God's beloved child. Let us pray together the words Jesus has taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. So friends, as we talked about today, today is Ash Wednesday that starts the season of Lent. And during Lent, we have lots of really cool things planned for the whole church. Everyone from little kids all the way up to adults. And one of the things that we have for Lent is these Lent at home kits. Everything you need to do Lent right from home to keep everyone safe. Some of you have already gotten your kits, but if you have not, you can still stop by the church. We have a whole thing set up with all the boxes ready so that you can just grab one. Or you could talk to me, Miss Michelle, at michelle at abidingpresence.net and I can drop one off to your home. We have lots of good things inside. We have a devotional just for kids and their families. We have a devotional for adults. We have devotional cards. We have ways for you to serve as a family with our food pantry. We have ways for you to learn about Lent and about serving God. We have activities for every day of Holy Week for our kiddos. So make sure you take a look at this. We also have a really cool board game inside your box called Forgiven. And we have this book right here called The Garden, The Curtain, and The Cross that we are gonna be talking more about during Holy Week. So make sure to stop by the church and get your box. So now friends, I am so glad that we got to spend this Ash Wednesday together, worshiping together. Remember, you are so, so loved. And now go in peace, stay home in faith. Thanks be to God. <laughs>